This is not a standard 360 PD. The standard 360 PD is of course the scandium titanium gun. The cylinder is titanium, the chassis is scandium. This gun has been completely gone over by Lester Knipe. Lester Knipe is my gunsmith of choice. I believe he's the best gunsmith that I've ever done business with and I've done business with a ton of gunsmiths. This gun has a complete action job done by Lester. Incredibly smooth action, even when it comes to um, being in single action. The action is just like butter on this gun. This gun has a big dot front sight. I don't know if you can see it right there. I'm gonna to try to show it to you. With my aging eyes, I can come on target with this gun and I can, I can dip that barrel down and as that big, big dot rolls up and as soon as I catch it, it's like looking at a pull cue. Very easy for my older eyes to get a hold of these days. Very good in low light. It glows like a big cue ball that glows in the dark. Phenomenal. Lester has deburred the hammer on this gun. So you're very smooth around the sides here. Again, I prefer a gun with a hammer. I like the option to be able to cock it. But I didn't like the hammer tearing apart all my good jackets and all my suit jackets. So this has been lightly to bird. It does not tear my stuff up. The biggest problem with the small J frames when you're shooting full house loads is the normal J frame grip. You get two fingers on the sucker. You can't get that pinky on there for purchase. These grips, it's kind of a cool story. You know me, I like everything custom. These grips were made by Jimmy Badger. Besides having a really cool name, Jimmy Badger, Badger grips are awesome grips. They fit my hand. I have a decent sized hand. As you can see, I can get the pinky on there, okay? That gives me a ton of control. Now what I did, Jimmy used to make white grips and some type of polymer. They were cracking and chipping. Jim would not make any more of the white grips. I like white grips. At Diskin of Diskin USA laid up these grips. They're white linen micarta and matte. Denise. Not because I'm a pimp, because a white grip in the summer with jeans on and a t-shirt untucked hanging over, a white hard grip does not print or does not cling. A shirt slides against the hard grip so you don't get any printing. The white doesn't shine through when you're wearing white material. When I have a suit jacket on and a suit, I usually have a white suit on. The gun is carried here. The, hand, the black part blends into my black pants of the holster. The white grip blends into the white shirt or the neutral colored shirts I have. So I'm a big proponent of a smooth white grip. Yes, people think I'm trying to be patent or pimp-like, but the real case is I just think they look great and they're very, very useful in hiding your gun. It's camouflage, it's right in front of you. People hardly ever notice this gun on my belt. Like in knives, the most important thing besides the actual knife or gun is the sheath or holster. I'm a huge quality leather proponent, everybody knows that. I wish Paul Long, the great leathersmith in Texas, would make holsters for guns, but he's sticking to knife sheaths. When it comes to holsters, I use two or three different types every day when I carry. One is the simple Blackhawk pancake that I have on right here. This is made by Blackhawk, it's got a snap. Great retention. It's a three position pancake holster that can be positioned either cross straw or strong side. The other holster I'm a big fan of is another Blackhawk product, the Classic Speed 6. This is a fantastic holster. It's only held in with retention, but it carries very tight, pulls in very tight to your side. The belt goes through there and there, which gives it a very con a tight conforming fit to you. This is the Speed 6, incredibly fast holster. Secure, but breaks extremely quick. When it comes to probably, again, I like the Blackhawk stuff, I like Galco stuff, but when it comes to the finest quality leather holsters that I've played with, and I have them for all my carry guns, I probably have eight or 10 of these, is Sideguard. Eric from Sideguard makes probably the finest leather holster for a sidearm that I have experienced. Again, fantastic fit. It almost locks in like Kydex. That's how good his fit is. It's all formed to fit very well, very secure, does break with pressure. This holster, besides being extremely well fitted, these snaps on and off. A lot of times I go in and out of states where my carry permit does not apply. When I get to the border of one of these states, if I have on one of the Blackhawk holsters that has to be threaded through my belt, I have to pull over, take the belt off. It's a bit of a fiasco. 
This holster snaps on and off quickly with these quick snaps. Really, really well designed, well thought out holster. Again, this carries the gun, the holster I'm carrying now, carries it back up kind of high and kind of cannon. Not the quickest, you have to really get in, high elbow to draw. This holster carries a bit lower, a more relaxed attitude. You can get a hold of it. It's a much quicker holster to draw from. Eric from Sideguard, awesome holsters. When it comes to loads, I'm a big proponent of training and learning to shoot full house loads if that's what you're gonna be carrying. There's nothing wrong though with putting in 38s and shooting this gun in normal practice. It's cheaper, it's gonna be easier on you. You're gonna shoot better with the gun. But you better be able to shoot your full house loads. For full house loads, I shoot Barnes Expanders. I'm a huge, huge proponent of the Barnes Bullets. I've killed so many animals with Barnes Triple Shocks and the original you know, Barnes X Bullets. The Barnes Bullet is a solid homogenous copper round that is proven to me on, I've lost count on how many big game heads, proved its merit, proved that it performs well, proved that it's a, a bullet that I would bet my life on. Again, most people think of the Barnes Expander as a big hunting round. Animals are animals. Um, if it works on, if a Barnes Expander works on a Cape Buffalo or an elk, it's gonna work on a person. Um, they're fantastic bullets. Again, those are the reasons why I advocate most people carry a revolver. Not just because they're simpler to use, they're less complicated, they're less prone to malfunction. Again, you still need to train with them. You still need to work your reloads. For reloads, I carry a dump pouch right here. Pop the thing, it falls out, the bullets fall in my pocket. I carry another dump pouch in my briefcase, so I always have two reloads. If I was shooting the big steel frame, 586L comp, of course, moon clips is the way to go, and a lot quicker. But for my use, at my stage of the game, and what I'm doing with a firearm, I cannot beat this custom tricked out 360 PD done by Lester Knight. It's fantastic. Like I said, Jimmy Badger grips, big dot sights, complete action job. To me, this is probably one of the most easy to carry, reliable pieces you can come across. Yes, this package gets a bit pricey by the time you buy the gun, by the time you do the work to it. But again, it's for life and it's your life. Thanks for looking.